Whoa. Hey Vancouver, the countdown continues to the 2010 Winter Olympics. Are you ready? Do you know the who's who and what's what of your games? If not, welcome to your Olympic prep class. I'm Brian, and this is 2010 101. Today on 2010 101, we speak with Canadian loser Sam Edney. He must love tobogganing, but what are some of his other favorites? I'm a big fan of Quachi. Quachi's, uh, I think, he, what he represents and kind of what his interests are are pretty awesome. I've always been a big sports uh, kind of fan, so uh, the Maddens, the NHLs, uh, I, I can remember the NHL 93, I think, was my one of my favorite games. But I think one of the ones that come to mind are old school, one of, one of the best classics, I think, the recent years. Van Ock's been good enough to give us a little bit of time with the Canadian Luge team, so let's ask him some questions. It turns out we have to be just a touch quicker with our questions, so we're ready. Here we go. Hey, can I ask you? Stand by. Hey, can I ask you? Just a question. Let me ask you, what, what in God's name makes you want to do luge? Uh, really, I've always had just kind of a real need for speed, I guess. Um, I remember the first time I tried luge, it was, it was such an amazing feeling, that rush that you get, you get to the bottom of the hill and you're just kind of full of adrenaline and, uh, and I've really just enjoyed having that feeling every time I go down the track. What feels most different between 2006 and what you're going into for 2010? Uh, going into the 2010 games, I've got a real a different mindset, a real different uh, focus, I guess. It's, it's I want to go there to, to compete and be the best and, and that's I think the big difference. I'm not, I'm not really going there just to, to experience it, I'm really going there to to uh, hopefully dominate almost. We got to see some of the practice runs today and, yeah. and looking at the World Championship stats, it looks like the German and the Jur women are really the teams to beat. Who else is big contenders consistently at this level? In the men's field we've got uh, the Italian Armin Zogler who is just a dominant uh, slider and he's he's been I think on the podium in the past four Olympics so he's really He's the guy to watch. He's he's kind of the perfect, the perfect slider. So you have the distinct pleasure or recognition of, of being on the side of one of the new BC ferries, the celebration. Coastal Celebration. Yeah. As a loser, where speed is absolutely paramount, does BC ferries really represent that? In, in 2006, you decided to go uh, to just singles. You were competing in both doubles and singles. Yeah. The doubles, did that just, I mean, I've seen it. Did that just get a little awkward? Was that like a breakup? <laughs> was, was, was there need, a needed an intervention or a coach to sit you down and maybe, was there hard feelings? It was kind of messy at a point, actually. Especially with that, the pressure that was on us that year, going to the Olympics, trying to get to the Olympics, I guess. Um, we, we haven't spoken since. Let's just say, for, an ins for instance, I'm a skeleton guy and you're a okay. loser, right? Yeah. We're, we're trash talking, so I'm the skeleton guy. Yeah, face first is better. <laughs> Dude, you guys are like this far off the ice. That's like, you guys don't flip. You don't even drive. Okay, I'll look yeah. that up. I'll figure out what that means. <laughs> Seriously, skeleton is way better. I mean, luge sounds like a feminine product. Oh. No, I see now, luge is better. Well, thank you very much for joining us on 2010-101. Best of luck to you, looking forward to seeing you. Thanks so much. Sam Edney, luger, thank you very much. Hey, thanks. Cheers. Join us again for more Olympic people and places on 2010-101, brought to you by Novus TV. I'm Brian. Thanks for watching.